Citation CJ3 Plus and Embraer's Phenom 300E are two of the most advanced light jets on the market. They often compete with each other when it comes to buyers that want the newest and most technologically advanced light jet available. While the CJ4 may be a little more competitive with the Phenom from a range and payload perspective, we're comparing the CJ3 Plus and the Phenom 300 because they both sport the Garmin 3000 avionics suite, something owner operators seem to favor. I'm gonna turn it over to Jake for some insights on annual fixed and direct operating costs. Yeah, sure. So if we're comparing both of these planes, let's give them a baseline of 100,000 miles flown in a year. Um, because the Phenom 300 is a little faster, you're gonna spend less time in the air. So at 100,000 miles, that's about 207 hours a year in the sky. For the CJ3 Plus, that's 214 hours. Um, and that's because the CJ3 Plus flies at 406 knots, and the Phenom 300 is about 419, 420. Um, so you're going a little bit faster than the Phenom 300, which is great. Um, but the fuel, what's great is the fuel burn is actually very similar. For the CJ3 Plus, it's 166 an hour. For the Phenom 300, it's 169 an hour. Um, and then maintenance costs, but the maintenance costs on the Phenom 300 are just higher than the CJ3 Plus. So CJ3 Plus, we would budget, you know, in a maintenance reserve about $550. For the Phenom 300, it's about $600. So 50 more dollars per hour flown. Insurance, the Phenom 300 is three grand more than the CJ3. Pilot training, you pretty much cut it right down the middle. They're, they're basically even. Um, so your direct operating costs for the CJ3 Plus and the Phenom 300, if you're flying 100,000 miles, two, uh, 200 and change hours a year, it's about 300 grand, direct operating costs. Fixed, uh, it's gonna be more on the Phenom 300, five, five or six grand. Um, so when you compare them for that you know, vantage point, you're gonna pay a little bit more in maintenance on the Phenom 300, but you're gonna get 15 more knots. Uh, so. With the CJ3, you get to take advantage of its spectacular climb rate of nearly 4,500 feet per minute, compared with less than 3,000 feet per minute for the Phenom 300. The Phenom 300, however, has a faster cruise speed, a range that's 200 nautical miles longer, and a cabin that's a foot and four inches longer than that of the CJ3+. Plus. It's a couple inches wider and taller as well, with a standard divan and room for an extra passenger. The Phenom 300 has often been the choice of big charter and fractional operators, due in large part to its impressive performance at a reasonable cost, and the reputation of a platform developed by a regional jet manufacturer known for reliability and support. Although you'll spend approximately an extra one to two million at the time of purchase for the Phenom 300 over the CJ3 Plus, you'll certainly have some advantages, although minor, when it comes to performance and cabin size. For many potential buyers, the decision between the CJ3 Plus and the Phenom 300 simply comes down to personal preference. If you're familiar with the Citation Jetline, the CJ3 Plus is a logical step forward. Over the last few years, the Phenom 300 has been the most delivered business jet for a reason. Visit wepush10.com slash resources to learn more about current market values and find even more valuable resources for buying or selling an aircraft.